Hey everyone, my name is Eamon Akhtar. I'm a 3D artist working in Los Angeles and I teach 3D printing for ZBrush artists on Mold3D Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to take a sculpt made in VR and 3D print it out. I have a little corgi and I'm decidedly a dog person. So I decided that's the kind of avatar I'd want in virtual reality. Here you can see the finished sculpt made in Oculus Medium, and it's got three separate layers. So if I want, I can merge it or not, and it'll bring my layers as separate pieces in ZBrush. So I'll just go over to the control panel in Medium, go to Export, and I can leave the resolution at 100%. Vertex colors doesn't matter because we're going to print solid, and file format OBJ, and I'll export and let Medium do its thing. We'll go to ZBrush then, and I've imported the OBJ. We go to edit mode, spin around, it looks pretty sweet. We can fix the tilt a bit later, but if we turn on polyframe, you can see that it's got all the layers for medium. So I'll do a quick group split, and now we can see our separate subtools. There's the head, the VR goggles and some wrinkles, and the body. So now I'm just going to polish this sculpt up a little bit and prepare it for print. We'll want to merge the models into one solid watertight mesh and remove any dangerous overhangs. So I filled in some of the spaces uh, between the goggles. I really like what I got out of Medium. So all I needed to do was punch up some of the details and enhance the pose. So he looks eager and ready to play. You can see the mesh is dynameshed already as one solid watertight piece. I'll duplicate it and I'll run a plugin, Decimation Master, to bring it down from 1.4 million polys to something more manageable by a 3D printer. After decimation, the mesh is a bit less than 300,000 polys, which should be just fine for the Form 2, which I'll be printing on. I'll go over to Z Plugin, 3D Print Hub, and Update Size Ratios. Then I'll select the largest axis, which will be the length, and I'll make it 4 inches. And then I, you can export to STL, or in my case, I'll just send it to Preform. Preform is the print prep software for Form Labs and the Form 2, which I'll be printing on. Here I can set the optimum orientation, create the supports, and I'll lay it out right here in the corner to set up the most efficient print. Once I'm ready, I'll click on that yellow button to start the print. Here's the time lapse of the printing process. The print took about 7 hours at 4 inches and 50 microns layer height. And voila, a wild dog person appears. Pretty happy with how the 3D print turned out. All the details are preserved really nicely, and I'm super excited that I got to sculpt this in VR and now hold it as a 3D print in my hands. I hope you guys got something useful from that tutorial, and please make sure to enter your designs into the Design Your Future Avatar Challenge, which is going on right now, powered by Mold3D and Pinshape. The URL is to the contest is in the description below. And the contest prizes are pretty sweet, with the Form 2 printer and Oculus headset with touch controllers going to the grand prize winner. Sponsoring the contest are Form Labs, Oculus, Pixelogix, 3D Artist Magazine, and Mold3D Academy. Good luck with your entry, everyone, and thanks for watching.